Welcome back everybody, it's time for another booster cracking and today I got a really cool special little box that I've been dying to crack into. This thing is from a video game, manga I believe, a TV show, Grand Blue Fantasy. And this artist in the set, let me show you some of this guy's artwork, I mean, he's just an amazing, amazing artist. Am, I've always been such a huge fan of his work. And Grand Blue Fantasy actually does have a TZ, TGC, TCG, can't say that for some reason, I don't know why, TCG card game, but it's extremely, extremely hard to find, extremely expensive, it was very low print run, and I mean, it's very, it's very, I've been looking, I've been looking guys for trying to find a box or something, can't really find it, but what I did end up finding was these. These are another form of the TCG that they have available for Grand Boom Fantasy, and they are called clear cards. And I'll give you, you know, one guess here to see what the clear cards are all about. I'm sure you'll be able to guess, uh, but if you haven't, I mean, here's some examples of what they look like. Some beautiful, beautiful artwork, but I don't think this does it justice, and you'll see why. So I've been excited to open these up. There's not many packs in here, and there's only a couple cards per pack. Um, for this very special little thing. This is series four, so there's other series that I'm actually looking at trying to get if I enjoy these greatly, which I probably will. Uh, but yeah, let's crack into this thing and see what kind of cool stuff we can find, yeah? One piece of tape, that's how Japan does it over there. They just put one piece of tape on their boxes and that's it. So we're gonna open that up. Boom, all the cards are just in there. Super long packs, I suppose. So I guess we'll just yank those out here. Boom, there we go, perfect. All right, here's all the packs. You can see there's not a ton of them and there's only a few cards in each. So really, really cool. I don't know if there's like a rarity system or anything or more that are highly valued than others. Uh, I think these are wafer cards. They might actually be like gum cards or something. It's kind of how they get away with like putting their cards in Japan on like food shelves and stuff for people to grab is they like tuck some wafers in them or they tuck a piece of gum in them and it gets past some of the laws and regulations and they can sell it with all the food and get more sales, I guess, which is pretty interesting. These cards are gonna be beautiful because again, the artist that I've just been a fan of, I'm not gonna be able to probably pronounce his name, I forget it to begin with, but I probably would be doing a really shoddy job of actually pronouncing it. So let's open these up. Before we reveal the cards, let's reveal the gum. There it is, yep, it's gum. Let me see. It's probably really gross. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna keep chewing it though because I really don't know how long it's been sitting in these packs, honestly. All right, so let's pull out a few cards that we have here. You guys ready for this? Come on, all right. You may think this looks pretty cool already with some amazing artwork, but let's just tease a little bit what's going on here. Clear cards. What do you think about that? Have you ever seen something so unique for a TZ, TCG, whatever, or wafer cards or gum cards? Look at just how cool these are, man. They're so cool. They're more just the collectible. You can't, I guess it wouldn't actually be qualified as a TCG because it's not a trading card game. It's just a collectible game. So CCG, so CCG. There we go, I corrected myself. CCG goodness with these wonderful cards. And you can see they're clear, which makes for some really interesting, wild, crazy choices for card designs and things like that. Uh, this one's sideways again too, but look, look at this guy's artwork. It's just so good. It's so good. So, so good. There are other sets that are similar to these for wafer cards and stuff that are very expensive as well and pretty hard to find, but they got some really amazing artwork on them as well. Um, so let's keep going. So two cards per pack, that's it. That's all you get is two cards per pack. We got a nice, a nice figure here. I don't know her name. I'm not from super familiar with the game or anything that goes on with the series. I just have always been a fan of the artwork. So a really cool single character shot of this gal. Pretty sick. And then let's get this one up here. It's falling on my thing and I can't pick it up. There we go. Got this crazy angel thing going on. Insane detail and just fabulous looking, really dope. So again, I'm not sure if I'll be putting prices up because the individual cards are kind of weird and they don't always have like individual prices per se. I know you can buy like the whole set for like under 200, like what, 150 or something like that, and you can buy the actual boxes sealed for around 50, 60 bucks. So that should give you an indication of where the value's at a little bit. But let's take a look at these two. First off, this one, pretty, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, is he kill, oh, he's playing guitar. Couldn't figure out what was going on at first. All right, that's pretty cool. And then let's see you, if I could pick you up. 
Pretty sick. I mean, come on, fabulous. That's like Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. That's cool. Wow, that is fantastic. Got some Force of Will vibes on that one. Let's go into another one here. I guess I'm just gonna pull them out one at a time. Look at this wonderful one. Wow, is that the Red Riding Hood again? No, that's gotta be someone else. A different character, but just look at how phenomenal that is. Awesome looking card. Just design graphically is so, so cool on these things. I'm just so impressed. I saw him, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Don't make me try to buy a bunch. We got all the ladies here, so I'm sure this card is probably highly sought after, but all the ladies. Look at that, very nice, very cool. Uh, I don't think there's like any foils or anything in the set either, but that's okay. You don't always need the foils as long as you make a phenomenal product, which they definitely do in this one. Let's check out this card first. Oh, everybody's got like the bunny ears going on. I don't know what's up with that. You know, I'm not sure. Again, I'm not familiar with the game. Maybe I should be. But look at just how fabulous these cards are. Wow. That is some beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. Oof, geez. I'm just pushing all the gum off the table. I don't want it. I don't care. Here we go. We got, what is you? What is you? Tower Robot Man? I don't even know. Interesting, interesting. What's next? What's next? We got this girl. What is... Is she just like a midget or something? I don't know, she's like a little elf goblin thing. Weird card. What's the number on this one? C-150, C-154? Yeah, I'm gonna start looking at the numbers and see what I'm actually gonna be missing once I open all these packs. Boom, let's go into another one here and pull out the first one. Oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. They are like a hard plastic as you can see, so they're better than just, you know, your basic cardboard, but Again, a bunch of ladies, uh, probably popular card because of that. Pretty sick, pretty sick. I mean, look at just the detail, even back all the way on these far characters is insane. As an artist, truly appreciate it, truly appreciate it. Here's another one right here. Oh, wow, she's got like this crazy demon ghost thing going on. Pretty insane, wow. Next one, let's see what else of these cool artworks we can find. I mean, gosh dang, look at that. Look at how cool that looks with just that crazy see-through is just absolutely insane wow that is a really cool card right there and that looks like we have another character one right here very cool it's like he's got like a mailman vibe to him except he has a sword and he's not carrying letters that's his giant letter opener i suppose that's just that's just the backstory i'm going to create for this guy but he looks pretty sick looks pretty sweet these character ones are really nice they got like that fog until you get up close on them too it's really interesting next up let's keep going we got a beautiful shot, wow, of just going off with my favorite kind of weapon right here, spear, bow staff, I love it, so uh, yeah, I'm a fan of this card, that's for sure, pretty sick looking, wow, you can't really get the full gravity of the clear cards unless you really put something behind it too sometimes, really dope. What's the next one in here, whoa, wow, that one is very nice as well, okay, yeah. That's gotta be a popular one. This one's barely clear. There's only little highlights of clear. Although the back moon, how they did like the back dark sky is pretty sick. Wow, that is, uh, gosh. I'm gonna be saying wow a lot in this. I can already tell, cause it's just insane what they're able to do with these things. Whoop, into the next, let's go and pull one out here. Gotta open a little bit more. Wow, okay, there we go. There she is. Beautiful looking character right there. Is that a phone? What is that? I don't know what's going on here, but looks pretty sick. It's got like some Valkyrie vibes going on almost with the wings and everything. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Let's go into the next one here. Another cool, like, not quite a character card, not quite. It's got Teddy Bear Girl here. Pretty interesting with a giant freaking axe. Oh my gosh, I just realized she's just wielding a giant axe. That's pretty dope as well. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I gotta say as we open up the next one here. Let's see what this one is. Woo, look at her. Whoa, whoa, that is some good freaking artwork. Again, with that, that phenomenal see-through stuff is just crazy. Should have picked like a different background maybe so I could just hold it up to him and show off like that. That'd be insane, but really freaking sweet. Let's go into this one. We got giant, huge giant man. I don't even know what his name is. I didn't do my research at all, guys, sorry. If you're fans of the game, I apologize, but hey, I really appreciate the artwork that goes into this game. It's so, so good, it's so good. Next one, let's go, that one opened nice and smooth. We got one of the main dudes here, piercing through the sky with his spear. 
Really, really cool. Wow. All right, let's keep going through and seeing this one. All I can say is wow, but wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, holy crap, come on. Leave a like for this guy's art. It's just so incredibly done. He's got such nice detail and just such a cool vibe to his artwork. He's done a lot of stuff, too. He hasn't just done Grand Blue Fantasy. He's done a lot of other games, worked on a lot of other projects. He's a very popular boy. Very popular boy. Let's keep going. See what else we can get here. Oh, we just pulled them both out. That's okay. Let's look at the first one first. Phenomenal card, if I do say. Wow, that is cool. Got my uh, spear action going on there, which is dope. Jeez, pizza. It is just, I don't even know, like, what's the best way to view these cards? It's so insane. Just put whatever background you want on it, I guess. Whatever sleeve you put it in. And the next one here is a little riding arrow. Boy or girl. Can't tell. <laughs> I think it's a girl. There we go. Pretty sick looking character card, though, with the horse. Really nicely done and framed on this boy. Next one. We've only got a few packs left. And this was just for fun and to have you guys experience it with me here. But we got a nice little samurai girl. Really sick. Really cool. 181. How many cards are in the set? Maybe like 200 or something? That's crazy, actually. It's a big set for these clear cards. I feel like the production of this has got to be insane. What's next on the agenda? This boy or girl. I don't know. It's got the cat ears again. Pretty sick. Stellar outfit. Really dope. Wow. You just... Blown away by these things. They're just so, they're so freaking cool. I'm not even gonna bother putting like a wow counter on these videos either, because I have already know I've said it like too much. It's just gonna be a high count, that's all you need to know. Let's get the first one out. Boom, some lovely ladies. Pretty sick looking. They're like in the desert or something like that. Or they're on a road, or they're in a desert road. Looking lost, waiting for uh, somebody to pick them up. They're hitchhiking, I guess. Let's see this guy, look at that. Look at that blend you can have going there. All right, what's the next one here? We got some crazy looking demon dude. My recording stopped, so that's great. So I don't know where he left off there, but big baddie of the, the game, it looks like. Some kind of big baddie of the game. Crazy demon dude. I didn't realize it, but my timer just ran out on me like crazy. So, whoopsie daisy. And we do got something else over here that I'm gonna open up, but we've only got one pack left. So let's see what other cool cards we can find. Wow, look at this stunner. Whoa. Yeah, that's a good one. I like it. I like it. That is some. Whew. Wow, this man, the night the nighttime ones just are really cool with all the fading they did with the blacks. How they handled the blacks is impressive to say the least. It's really hard to get blacks right with inking, and if you're doing it on like a crazy plastic, it's pretty insane. Here's another girl, another big spear wielder, pretty sick looking. Man, these are just so cool. Can't wait to put these in just a binder and just let them be what they are. An amazing piece of artwork. What do we got here? It looks like we just got like some kind of single, maybe promo card or something like that. It's sealed in its own little envelope. So let's pull them out and take a look here. Is it a clear card? It's like not even a clear card, which is interesting. B06, interesting card. Wow. All right, well, yeah, I don't know what these are going for or anything. Oh, I guess he is a little bit clear. He's got some clear stuff going on, right? Yeah, a little bit. Just a hair. This one's really dark, though. Like, way dark. Interesting. Okay. Got a nice stack of all these things, and uh, I wouldn't mind getting more of them, because some of the other sets that they have, three and two, are have some really incredible cards in them as well. So if you want to see more of these, more of these clear cards, Grand Blue Fantasy sets, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed them and you got a kick out of these as much as I did, because these are really dope. And uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for other box openings that we have coming up. If you're a fan of this, maybe you'll be a fan of Zunes, of Enemies, some We Cross. We've got some Force of Will, we got some Vanguard, and just all sorts of goodies. If you hadn't seen the last video, we opened up some Evolving Skies Pokemon, so go check that one out. We got some amazing pulls in that as well. But thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you did, you're the best. Thank you very much, and we will see you guys in the next one.